I grew up on a farm, up on and around a farm. I was about 10 years old, but there is a real difference between, you know, feeding some chickens and bailing a little hay and being an actual cowboy, which is what I set out to do recently. I know, me learning how to be a cowboy, that's like barking at a knot, right? But, uh, you know, I definitely haven't changed at all, but I gotta say, I had a real hog killing time doing some cowboying. Welcome to the Gilliland Horse and Cattle Company, where they specialize in cowboying. You know, riding, reining cow horses and team roping, even teaching a tenderfoot like me. When was the last time you rode then? When you were a kid? I was six years old. Yeah? And All it didn't right. end well, which is why that's the last time I rode. Tim and Stephanie Gilliland run the ranch they've had for seven years now. As my horse Wilson and I get to know each other, Stephanie informs me we're going to be doing some actual work today. And we're going to go out to that field and we've got about a dozen head of cattle that we're going to bring in and load onto this trailer. So you're going to help us do that. But first things first, got to actually get up on this horse. You're going to go straight up and over. Not all the way over, just on. Yeah. There you go. Don't be afraid to kick him either. I didn't give you one that has a huge gas pedal, okay? I did okay. not give you a Ferrari. Somebody's going to take up. Come <laughs> okay, on. I gave you the Ford truck. Okay. There you go. All right, let's crash course this and bump him up into a trot a little bit. So you're going to kick him a little bit harder, cluck okay. to him, and catch right up to me. Then it was time to head out into the field and get these cattle loaded up. So Maddie's going to get up there and see she'll head them off so they don't get too far back. And then they're going to go back that way and they'll head right into their pen. The cattle are moving fast. The cowboys also moving pretty fast. The city slicker, not so much. Now we've got them. Now we're going to go in and we're going to push them in there. Right into you the trailer. And I, you and I are going to do that. <laughs> you ready? Yes. All right. Can you, actually, can you yell at cows? Can you say, hey cow, hey cow. Hey! Get, hey move it cow, move hey, it. Hey hey, hey! hey! There you go, get on in. Hey, hey cow. That way. Hey, 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 hey! Let's go! Hey, 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 hey! All right. These cows are bad. <laughs> <laughs> I agree, these cows are bad. You guys are getting to see all kinds of real cowboy in now. Yeah. There we go. You just need one liter and then they boom, go. Think it's easy doing some cowboying? It ain't. Now that they're loaded up, they're driven over to the indoor arena so Maddie, who competes in rodeo at Texas Tech, can get some herd work in. So herd work or cutting is equine sport that we compete in, but the purpose behind it is when they're ranching and you need to cut one out to doctor it, those are the same skills that you use, but we turned it into a competition. Oh, yeah. She'll cut one out and she'll work her horse on one. And so our job's gonna be the single cow that she cuts out is to keep that cow moving and push toward her. So that's our job. We're called turn back. Jason, go ahead and step up and just push that cow toward her. Oh, oh. oh he got by me. <laughs> look at me, look at me All holding right. the cows. Look at me holding them in. And we're gonna move this whole herd around the arena. So you stay kind of flanked over there some while I push them from behind. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There you go. And finally, no cowboy training would be complete without some roping. Team roping is uh, two horses um, with, with riders chasing after one cow just like this. The header ropes the two uh, horns and pulls the cow off to the left. And the other guy on the horse, the healer, comes in behind the cow and ropes two feet. And, and that's got to be the tougher part, right? Getting and the it's two a feet. timed event. I Cut. think it is. Luckily for me, I'll have a much less mobile set of horns to aim for. Look yeah. at this. Are Look you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Come on. That's not possible. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's. Oh, yeah. Does that count? Yep. Okay. I've seen every season of Yellowstone. <laughs> <laughs> We finished strong is what we did. Tim and Stephanie are here with us this morning to talk a little bit more about their ranch and everything. By the way, that little voice you heard about those cows being bad, that was Peyton right here. Good to have you guys. Uh, and I, when I was watching this, it was funny, I joked, I really needed to kick the horse to get him moving a lot more, and you told me a lot more. But uh, I wanted to talk about the ranch and all the services you guys offer. Uh, tell me about, because everything I did there, you'll teach anybody, correct? Yes. 
Um, we offer lessons and clinics and we host outside clinicians as well. We do offer some boarding at our facility, uh, but mostly lessons and clinics is what we specialize in for reined cow horse, team roping, and from the ground up. We have kids as young as Peyton here and to adults.